flag? No, that flag. <laughs> Yeah, but that's back there. Dude. I know. <laughs> I know it's America. You just want to stare at it. Yeah, I need to have. A, I need to have it. Yeah, inspiration. <laughs> que rico. What's up, Will? How you doing? What's up, Mr. Washington? What up, what up? Alright, Washington, we're about to start the interview. Alright. Alright, so just, uh, I guess, tell us a little bit about um, what, the, what the whole band name is about. Well, originally it was King Washington, but I decided... Well, not that I decided. I looked it up on Google, and King Washington's like some random rock band, like some indie rock band. So I was like, shit, what am I going to call it? So I was like, Emperor Washington. And I like Emperor, the black metal band. So I'm like, all right, Emperor Washington, that works. And Washington, because it's like, like I want this band to, to in, embody the spirit of 1776. I want it to be like the toughest, most hard-hitting punk band that anyone's ever heard. But not be to the left, be to the right, all the way to the right. Emperor Washington. Yes. Let's see what else. Politics. All right. That's where you stand. Yes, yes. I stand. I'm. I'm. Fir I'm a firm conservative. Uh, I don't go. I don't go with pretty much everything on the conservative side, but pretty much I'm about ninety-five percent with them on everything. Uh. It's, uh, there's also like the, the neocon rhinos, like Chris Christie. I don't, I don't find any sort of, uh, any sort of relation with them at all. So, fuck Chris Christie. What's your biggest influence as far as like music? Because I know this is a big combination. This is a lot of different worlds colliding yeah. into each other. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, it's very, uh, um, I guess it's, it's a new wave of sound of, uh, yeah. Consciousness. Yeah, it's definitely new. Uh, well, I I grew up around the New York hardcore scene, so a lot of what I uh, a lot of what I play is is pretty much the you know whatever like Billy Club Sandwich is is a big influence. Um, uh, what was that? Um, Agnostic Front, Madball, uh, Minor Threat. Even though they're not from New York, but just punk in general. Like I I. Super Joint Ritual is pretty much like one of the reasons I started it. Uh, the The Descendants, you know, like a lot of a lot of punk bands. But the the main thing was to be different from the rest of the punk bands. Like they don't have the same message as me. They're they're about oh like you know anarchy and communism. No, I want I'm trying to bring back old school American values. I'm trying to bring back what the forefathers you know wanted to bring to this country. But I wanted to bring it in a way that'll get, you know, younger kids, you know, to, to, to get behind it, you know, to be like, all right, this is cool. This is something different. This is, this is real rebellion. Conservatism is a new counterculture. So at this point, I think I'm just doing the right thing. I'm doing exactly where I'm exactly where I need to be right now. So you want kids to be aware of, uh, was not like, not just in the music scene. I know a lot of kids who listen to music are influenced by top 40, you know, like the typical metal, I'm going to fucking rip you apart. Yeah. Rip you fucking corpse. Which is fine. Which is fine. I condone. I condone all artistic expression, but... But I pretty much... I like to troll people, too. As That's just one of my favorite things, is you just get people upset. And nothing gets people more upset than real conservative values like the american flag in some places is too offensive to to hang and i'm just like get the fuck out of here this is my fucking country you know you don't like that shit too bad you know get the there's there's a million other countries you could go to not a million but hundreds of other countries you could go to that where where you could find real oppression you know where you can't get i was born poor and now i'm in the middle so that already tells you that the system here works. Capitalism works. So, take with that what you will. And I'm going to keep doing what I do. And 
You, what's funny is that I don't get that many haters like I thought I would. It's a lot of love. I get a lot of love now, you know? And I really, and the silent majority is a real thing. The majority is with me. The majority is not, you know, the people making noise and rioting. That's a very small minority that is just very loud, you know? People don't get it. But that's where I stand on that. <laughs> so, I see you're getting a lot of buzz on the internet. Mm -hmm. like, it's it's climbing, it's moving, it's moving mm -hmm. a lot more than your other projects. Yeah. Why is that? It's the message. It's all about the message, the, the old school conservative values, Tro trolling like lefties, you know? That's just what I do, you know? I, uh, these, these kids that want communism, but they never spent a day in another country to see how bad communism really is. Like, my family came from Cuba. We ran from communism because communism wasn't getting anybody anywhere. My family had a very successful business in Cuba before the communists took over. And then Fidel Castro came into power and took everything away and gave it, redistributed our wealth, which is complete bullshit. If that happens here, I'm arming up and I am not going to take any prisoners. No prisoners. None. But yeah, uh, what was the question? I I, I kind of like, I zoned out. It was just, um, I kind of forgot. A lot of Amer there's a lot of America in this room right now. Yeah. Is this from America? It's I India know. Pale Ale. Jesus Christ, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> oh, Boston, Massachusetts. Never mind. This is still American, baby. IPA, IPA, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Um, so describe... Um, as far as like your other projects, let me see what else I want. Let me see what else I can ask. Would you like me to list my projects? <laughs> no, I mean that's not important. This is yeah. a for Washington. It's true. It's we true. Obviously know more, more, more of a terror has a history. This is about America. Yeah, this is America right here. Talk about your hat. Oh, my hat? Alright, yeah. well, this was given to me by a friend as a joke, but I decided to wear it pretty often. It's so a Make America Great Again hat in the most redneck uh, camel that you could get. And uh, I, I'm a veteran of the Air Force, so I put my civil engineer pin right here. And on this side, I got my medals from uh, my deployments. I wish I could tell you what they all mean, but I need the piece of paper. I just know that uh, one of them means basic training, and the, the rest of them are like from going out to the dirt. <laughs> to the desert, to the sandbox. So, yeah. talk about history in, uh, in, uh, in the military, right? All right, I did uh, did five years, uh, five years in the Air Force. I worked as uh, as a civil engineer, which is basically construction. Uh, I specialized in HVAC. That's pretty much it. Did uh, did two tours. You know, now I'm back here and I'm here to spread the message of conservatism to the youth because that's what they need to hear. They don't need to hear none of this equality bullshit. You know, fuck that. Like, everybody's equal when you're born, but you, like, you're gonna tell me that everybody's equal, so I'm the same as the fucking murderer down the street, you know, or the fucking child molester. No, motherfucker, we're created equal, yeah, because everybody starts at the same. Everybody starts at the same uh, starting line, but we don't finish at the same starting line because that's between start and finish is what makes you know it's what what you do in that time is what makes you 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 know the decisions you make the the whole um you know like oh am i going to be a drug dealer or am i going to be a businessman you choose you know if you want to make all the wrong choices go ahead but there's going to be consequences exactly yes sir Exactly. Don't tread on me, motherfucker. <laughs> so let's see what else. What else can we touch up on? Oh, uh, let's see. You don't know about politics more than me, man. Um. Well, a, a lot of the, a lot of the things that I speak about are like against Antifa and things like the Antifa. If for those who don't know, most most of my fans know who Antifa is. But um, Antifa is an organization that's uh, they've been around for a long time, but they're like a an anti uh anti-capitalism uh, movement and they're very hypocritical because they'll be like oh we're, we're at the uh we're at the anti-capitalism uh
protest, but they'll have their iPhones and they'll be taking selfies. Like this, this shit's a fucking. This is it. This is a result of capitalism. You wouldn't have something like this if it wasn't for capitalism. So remember that, kids, before you go join some stupid group. Yes. What else can we touch up on? What else are we touching up? Oh yeah, coffee shop revolutionaries that you want to talk about. You Coffee got, shop revolutionary, explain that. Yeah, that's like a, it's basically like college kids who like, they've never stepped outside the U.S., but they're convinced that communism is going to work here because everybody's equal kind of thing. Like, again, what we, what we talked about before, but what these kids don't understand is that they've never seen communism work. I've seen it work. You know, all you have to do is look at Venezuela, look at North Korea, and look at Cuba. Look at... Venezuela let's let's look at them first within a very short time of them being a country a price of the price of eggs went from 12 went from like two dollars like this the price it is in, in the US to like 200 something dollars 100 something dollars for a carton of eggs people are still rioting people are still looting everything they looted like a whole uh, uh, the other day I saw they looted a whole like convoy of, of, of vending machines not a convoy, but like they looted a store and took all the, the the vending machines and stuff. So I'm like, all right. So this is this is like Bernie Sanders America, like uh, freaking uh, uh, socialism and shit. You stupid socialist motherfuckers, man. Like I really wish one of you would step to me because you're all really pussies. I could see it in your fucking eyes. I could see it right in your fucking eyes that you guys are a bunch of pussies. And you know what? You guys want to say, oh. It's your white privilege that got you to where you're at. It's your white privilege that got you your job. It's your white privilege. You're like, shut the fuck up, because I know black motherfuckers who made it to the top. I know Hispanic motherfuckers that made it to the top. My skin color is nothing but that, just the color. Don't talk to me about white privilege. White privilege does not exist. Rich privilege exists, yes. But white privilege, that's something you little stupid motherfuckers made up try to make yourselves feel better because all you want is a fucking pity party this ain't a fucking pity party motherfucker this is america and in america you work for your fucking money you work for your position you gotta climb to the top you gotta climb you can't you just can't stop you have to you have to keep going they these people that they're like oh because because i was born with a tan i can't fucking get a job like who, where where? Most of my bosses in my life have been black. I got along fine. They got along fine. And they weren't like... They weren't like an Uncle Tom, as you guys like to call them. You know? We was Kangs. We was Kangs. No. So, so racism doesn't exist in your mind? Uh, not. I'm not racist. Exactly. Honestly, I'm not. Which is what a lot of people think about... Donald Trump that he's a racist. But. People think Donald Trump is a racist, but you know what's funny? Donald Trump was never accused of being a racist until he ran for president. Think about that. Hmm. Until CNN started getting, uh, started covering him, that's when they started calling him a racist because he ran against the leftists, he ran against the Democrats. Uh, yet, yeah, um, Donald Trump is a racist, but he hired everybody. Yeah, I remember he had a show, The Apprentice, and he did have black people on it, and he did... Treat him well. He spoke to them how he spoke to the white people. Yeah. It wasn't nothing different towards, like... No. It just wasn't negativity. It was like, bro, if, if you could do your fucking task, just do it. And yeah. And everything will be fine. The no. guy... the guy, But the thing about it, the guy's been a public figure since the 70s. Yeah, I know. And he has... Yeah. And he was never accused of being a racist until he started running for president against the Democrats. Now, let me tell you something about the Democrats. These motherfuckers have been polluting your mind since the 60s or 50s because these people they came in and the democrats invented the kkk this is something people don't want to believe they want to they want to tell me that i'm cherry picking history i'm like no motherfucker the southern democrats invented the kkk hillary clinton happens to be a democrat from arkansas what does that tell you you know just just put the, just just think for a second all you got to do is think then you think about yeah, the Southern Democrats invented the KKK. The, the Democrats in the 60s voted against civil rights. Martin Luther King was a Republican. Did you, did you know that? No, no, none of you did because you're all stupid. Except for my fans, my fans know. But 
then they, they want to tell us, like in the history books now, because the, the Democrats took, took a hold of, of the institutions, took a hold of the educational institutes. So now they're, they're trying to tell you that, that the platform switched. The platforms never switched. The platforms were always the same. They've never switched. So you guys believe what you want, but facts are facts, and that's it. And there's only two genders. <laughs> trigger, 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 trigger. Genders. Yeah, there's no, there's no 52 genders. There's 52 states. There's no 52 genders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we want to take it easy for now because this shit's just. Died. Yeah, go ahead. Too sweet. So far, so good. All right, cool. Just let this shit charge a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, no That's problem. Good so far, though. Yeah, good, thanks, bro. We're just gonna take it easy with this. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I, I 